body fit by Amy, and this is your loop resistance band workout. So in this workout, we're gonna use a loop resistance band, sometimes also called a mini band, to tighten and tone and strengthen your entire body and also get your heart rate up for a little bit of cardio. So all you need for this workout is your band and a mat. You might also notice that I am currently about seven months pregnant. This workout is totally fine to do if you are pregnant, as long as you have been cleared by a doctor for exercise during pregnancy and you're monitoring your intensity level and following any modifications that I provide. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start just with a little quick warm up so your resistance band can be over to the side. We'll just start marching, rolling through the shoulders. This warm up is just to get the blood flowing, get the muscles warm, everything moving as always. If you need more of a warm up or a cool down, please get it on your own. Let's reach up. One more. Let's take it out wide, flat back down, open those knees up, round it up. So we're just rolling through that spine. Let's go two more. Last one. And hold it underneath, just gentle rolls, shoulders forward through the back, but also Pushing out gently, opening up those hips. There we go for four, three, two. Round it all the way up, and let's just tap out and reach, making sure that we're turning through our knees and our hips, through our entire body. Four, three, two, and let's take it over your head right here. Big reach. And reach. There we go. And then let's bring the knees up nice and gently. If you're pregnant like me, don't feel like you have to get super high. You're just moving through. And then hamstrings to the back. Breathe. And then little kicks to the front. If you're pregnant like me again, you don't have to get super high. We're losing that flexibility there, right? But if you can, we're stretching out the hamstrings, also getting the arms rolling through. Okay, so we're gonna start. Go ahead and grab your loop band, and we are gonna put it sort of mid forearm. So it's gonna be a small little isolated movement, and depending on how much resistance you have in your band, it might be a little bit bigger, or a little bit smaller. So we're starting here, again, kind of halfway between your wrist and your elbows. I'm just gonna squeeze out and in. So I'm making a fist, so I deepen that contraction. Just looks like this. You're gonna feel it pretty quickly in your shoulders, in your arms. Two more. And then let's take it up and do the same thing. Squeeze out and in. Notice from the back, it's a small movement. If you have less resistance, you might be able to get out a little for, further. Four, three, two. Let's add some lower body. Watch me here. Squat down and up. So I'm going center, overhead. Feel those shoulders. Breathe, sit low in that squat if you can. And up, squeeze and squeeze, breathe, let's go four more, four, three, two, one more, and relax, take that band off, shake out those arms, let's take the legs out of it, we're going to simulate a little lap pull down, so I'm going to put one foot back for balance, it's up to you, you can stay stationary, Grab on either side, and I want you to think about that lat pull down machine at the gym or a bent over row, that's what we're going for. Pull the elbow behind your body. Squeeze and up, pull. Looks like this. So my elbow is coming behind my body, even though I start out in front and breathe. We're just gonna keep it all upper for eight. You can add a little bit of rotation for your core if you want, it's up to you. If you're pregnant, stay stationary with me. Four, squeeze, three, two, 
and one. I feel that, I don't know about you, all through the shoulders and back. Shake that out, and then let's put, it, <clears throat> put the band at our ankles. So it might be easier to sit down to do this or make sure you have something close by to hold on to. You're gonna stick your feet through, and we're gonna put the band sort of halfway between your ankles and your knees. It's gonna feel a little weird, especially if you have more resistance. And we're just gonna do a little side step. So start just with a step out and in. Knees are a little bit soft, working those outer thighs, glutes, and hips. And then if you want, you can take it a little more of a squat. Drop the hips as you keep the push out, but make sure you're focusing on both. Pushing out as wide as you can with those hips and dropping for glutes, hamstrings, and quads. And breathe. This is where if you wanted, if you had a set of dumbbells and you wanted to add some bicep curls or just add the bicep curl movement, that works too. Breathe. Four, eight, and seven. Don't forget about getting low in the squat. Don't forget about pushing wide. Get those hips. Four, three, two, and watch me here. One leg, doesn't matter which one, out, in. Little taps. This leg stays a little bit bent. I'm gonna pump my arms just so they're working too. Through the hip. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go same thing, other side. Out, in, out, in. To the side, breathe. There we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax, shake it out. So let's keep it here. I'm gonna turn to the front, to the side so you can see me, and let's tap it back, tap it in. Start alternating. Breathe. So almost like a little step or running motion, pushing through that glute. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Good, we're just gonna take one little lift. If you want, especially if you're pregnant, find something to balance on. Squeeze in that glute. Stationary leg is a little bit bent. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, other side, here we go. Lift and lower, little turn out. With the toe, feel in, core is in tight. You're probably fine balance, but always better to be a little bit safe. You can use a chair, counter, or even a wall. Squeeze. Four, three, two, relax. Okay, so let's go ahead, shake that out, move that band up above your knees. Just because we've got it here, so we don't have to do a ton of switching in between after this we'll go back to some upper body i promise so let's start with that side step that we did when it was further down below the knees we'll start stepping out then we'll add a squat here we go step out and in soft bend in the knees hopefully this is all getting your heart pumping for cardio i know it is for mine but if you're pregnant like me you might be feeling it a little bit more listen to your body let's add the squat here we go out and in. Breathe. Drop those hips. Get low if you can. And again, if you had a set of dumbbells, you wanted to add this would be a good time to get a little bit of curls. Breathe. Go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, let's just step it out. Double time right here. Out, in. Just like we did before. Breathe. Keep it going. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Other side, here we go. Out, in. Push. 
going down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax. Okay, so take that off. Be careful doing it. If you need to sit down or hold on to something, please do. Go ahead and grab a quick sip of water and we're gonna take it back to our upper body. Tap it out, catch your breath. So go ahead and take it. We are going to hold it with our right hand. And watch me here, I'm gonna hold it right up at the center. My left hand is gonna come across and I'm gonna push down for triceps. So think about your tricep extension that you do with dumbbells or the pull down a rope machine at the gym. So I'm holding it nice and tight here. What that's gonna do is that is gonna work our bicep, but we're gonna work triceps. So watch me make down and up. You decide if you need a little less resistance, bring it down here, or just keep it small range of motion, but push down and up. And breathe, so biceps and triceps are working. And if you want, I know we just did a lot of legs, but you can turn those toes out and we'll drop it down with a plie and up. Keep that arm pulled in, keep that arm pushing down. There we go, eight and seven. Feel those tricks, six, five, four, three, Two. Good. Bring it up. Little pulses. Pulse in the tries. Extension in the elbows. Flexion in that top one. But they're working for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax. Woo. Shake those out. Tap it out so you can feel you're maintaining a bicep curl, working the front of the arm and then extending through the tricep extension. So double duty, front and back of the arms. Same thing over here, bring it here. Let's start just with arms. Push down and up. So I know it feels a little awkward to hold, that's okay. You decide your range of motion. You need to make it even a little smaller, that's okay, as long as you're getting that extension and core is pulled in. Breathe, go ahead and move those toes out. It's optional, because I know we can a lot of legs. We can do a little more. Plie if you want. Drop it down as you push. And breathe. Excellent. Here we go. Eight, up, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, hold it right here, little pulses in the chest. Three, you can do it, both are working, thighs and tries. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, shake it out. Woo, stretch those back. I know, upper, upper arms. And lots of biceps too, so thumbs to the back of the team. We're gonna turn it this way because we're gonna keep working the arms and back. I'm gonna put one foot forward and then one arm forward. So same arm, same leg. So for me, it's my left. I'm gonna hold it up here and then I'm gonna pull back like a bow and arrow, okay? So think of squeezing in the shoulder blade. Again, think about that bent over row, starting just here and then halfway through, if you want, we'll add a lunge. Okay, so nice and wide. Here we go, pull back. Front arm is staying nice and stationary, ripping that band. Back arm is pulling your elbow by your side. If you want a little rotation, if you're not pregnant for core, you can. And if you want, add the lunge. Drop it down and up. Squeeze and up. Breathe. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, and five for four, three, two, 
one. Relax, flip it right around. Let's get this done because then we are taking it to the mat. Right arm, right leg, or whichever ones you didn't do before. Holding out stationary, nice wide stance. Pull it in that bow and arrow. Here we go, squeeze. Arm is straight out in front. You can add that rotation if you want, rotating a little in your body for core. If you're not pregnant like me, breathe. Here we go. Add the lunge if you want. Down as you pull and squeeze. Push through that front heel. Keep those arms pulling and holding for eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, stretch that out. Quick sip of water, and we are taking it down to the mat. Breathe. So if you are pregnant like me, we're gonna do some bridges. So the way we're gonna modify that is we're gonna put a couple pillows so we're at a little bit of an incline. A BOSU ball or a couple blankets, just something where we're lifted, we're not completely flat on our back. Everybody else, you don't have to do that. But let's go ahead and bring it down to a seated position. And we're gonna put this band up above your knees. So, above your knees. If you're pregnant like me, you're gonna be on the pillows, come down to your side and come into a bridge. If you are not pregnant, it's gonna look like this. All the way down, I'm gonna show you first and then I'll come back up on my pillows. So at the knees, it's okay if it slides a little bit. We're just gonna lift, squeeze out, in and down. So it might do that. It might move around all over the place, especially if you have slicker pants on like me. That's okay. We wanna keep everything pulled in as we squeeze out for those knees. And again, if you're pregnant, it's just a little bit better. So even though we're moving through, so we don't stay on our backs the whole time. But honestly, since we're moving through the motion, it's okay. Lift and out, in and down. Keeping it slow here. Let's go two more. At this slow pace, one more. And let's pick it up all the way up and out. Here we go. Up and out, in and down. Push into those heels. Your heels are in close to your body. Not forgetting about the core, core's in tight, up and down, breathe, squeeze, last four, four, three, two, hold it up, pulses up and out. I know we're feeling it, those guys are tired, squeeze, four, three, two, relax right Ooh, we feel that all right so move that band to right between your knees and your ankles so if you're pregnant like me we're going to keep them down we're just going to go out and in tapping out and in if you're not pregnant watch me here take them all the way up squeeze out and in we're not going to do this in pregnancy we're going to keep our feet lower if you're not pregnant, you can add a crunch through. But again, that's too much pressure on our abdominals. So we're gonna stay up. So imagine my pillows are here. Out and in. It's up to you. Breathe. If you wanna add the crunch or just keep it in the legs. Eight, seven, six. So everybody else. Four more. Four. Three, two, and one, and relax, stretch it out. So one more thing, we're gonna move that band to right at your feet, just like this. So watch me here. Pregnant ladies, stay with me. We're gonna push out, push it in. Everybody else, you're all the way down. Watch me here, I'm gonna show you quickly. 
we're gonna push out for a bicycle just like our regular bicep bicycle that we do if you want to add that upper you can again I'm not gonna stay here you can probably see that coning that's not what we want but everybody else take it there you're pulling in with one as you push out with the other so we're just going out and in eight seven stay here with me pregnant if you're not, keep that bicycle elbow to me if you want it. Three, two, and one. Take it all the way off. Stretch those knees out to the side. After I have this baby, I'm gonna do a full core workout with the mini band because there's tons of things you can do on the mat. But we just don't wanna do them in pregnancy, especially in our second and third trimester. If you're not familiar with diastasis recti in pregnancy, make sure you check out the ab separation. It's what we don't want. We gotta keep our core strong in other ways. Okay guys, so let's come into a side plank. So, I'm gonna have my elbow that's on the ground holding the band at the bottom. This one's coming up top. So I'm gonna stay on my knees. You guys are welcome to take it all the way up into that full side plank. We're gonna do a little lift for obliques and a little pull for our backs. Looks like this. Up and down. So little lift, little pull. If you're feeling super strong and you wanna rotate with it, you can. It's totally up to you. Side planks are fine for pregnancy. We're just gonna keep them on our knees and not rotate. Here we go. Up and down. Two more, almost done with this workout. Breathe and relax, stretch it over, breathe. Same thing, other side, my lower arm is holding it down. I'm coming either all the way up on my toes or on the knees, lift and lower, up and down. So again, both arms are having to work. We're pulling with our back with that top arm, but our bottom arm is keeping everything stable, so working through back and tries there as well. Keep lifting, keep lowering. Totally fine to be on the knees if that feels a little better. Four, three, two, and one. And relax. Bring it up, stretch it over. So we have one last thing. We're gonna put that band back at our forearms. Turn over on all fours. I'm gonna stay on all fours. So I'm keeping it here. I'm gonna go down to my elbows, but I'm gonna stay on my knees. I'm just pushing out, pushing in, side to side. So your core is engaged, but we're also working through that upper body. If you are not pregnant, totally fine to take it to a full plank position. I'm not gonna do it, but here, and do the same thing. So plank position, or knees and elbows, out and in. <sighs> Working through the back, last push upper body and core. Our lower body has worked really hard. Lots of push-ins, in and out. Breathe. <sighs> One more right here, four, <sighs> three. Either way, core's in tight, two, and one, bring it up, take that band off, stretch it back, child pose. I apologize that I couldn't do everything, but hopefully you guys who are experienced know how to take it up into those. Let's take those knees out, open up the hips, really lean into it here, and breathe. Just goes as far as is comfortable. You can push out gently on those knees. You can lean over into your back. Breathe. And then seated position. Pull those arms forward. Woo! So lots of those little tiny muscles in our shoulders, our backs, thighs, tries, and then also a lot of hips and glutes, inner outer thighs, quads, hamstrings. Core was engaged as well. That's a great thing about resistance is we're always engaging our core. But as always, since I couldn't do a ton of core, if you wanna check out 
I have a whole playlist of a bunch of abs and core videos, some short, some long, that you can add on to the end of this workout if you want. Big reach over and up. One more reach and up. And then let's get a little hip stretch. So I'm gonna turn to the side here, cross it over, and just go as far as is comfortable. So if you need more, pull that foot in, push that top knee down. If you don't have as much space there like me because of pregnancy, just pull that toe up and you will feel that. Excuse me, feel my water. Whew. So as always, get more of a stretch on your own, especially stretching those hips, hip flexors outer thighs, they tend to get really tight. It's a good reason to work them with our bands. And then let's take those feet straight out in front, reach it up, fold it over. Oh, we're tight through those hamstrings. A few deep breaths. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your loop resistance band workout. Great job, everybody.